So this is the rack here. I got them spaced out 12 inches apart from the bottom or the top of this rack to the bottom of this one. So 12 inches in spacing. And then now getting the lights hooked up with the reflectors. Get that all set up and tied those in so we can get some microgreens. All right, I got the lights all done with the reflectors here. I have these actually spaced out 10 inches from the end, 10 inches there, and then 10 inches from there. Kind of line it up. Just using zip ties to hang them. Now on to the next and getting the power. All right, got these daisy chained together. One switch per rack. And each rack is powers coming down the one side go to the outlet there. All right, I got these Wi-Fi plugs installed. So now I have them set at a timer. So they'll run 15 hours a day automatically and shut off automatically. I won't have to think about it. Here is the finished product. I have four trays per shelf with three lights per rack. All daisy chained together. So it's one switch per shelf. And then I have all the electrical actually running up above the plants. That in case any water drips down or anything, I don't have electrical down here. I can just have everything run up there. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. There'll be a link as well to the products I use. Also, shout out to Freedom Farmers. Um, that's where I took the course on the microgreens that he goes through and tells you all you need to know to start a microgreen business and all the equipment, tips and tricks, things like that. So stay tuned for the first crop.